Hello everyone and welcome back to, I think, part 9 of my, what was this, <laughs> of my 4 rent let's play. I couldn't actually tell you how excited I am to get back into this let's play today, honestly. I actually haven't recorded for a little bit, um, I've been away and things like that, so the previous episodes that you would have seen were pre-recorded about maybe two weeks ago now, so it's been a while since I sat down and played, but here we are! Why am I, wait... Why am I here? Why is the game lagging? Why am I surprised? Why am I making hot... Wait, what am I making? I thought I was making hot dogs. What am I making? A grill, a pot of three sisters chili. I'm grilling that in my apartment complex that I own. Um, where Colin and <laughs> this guy right here. What's your name? Wayne the Boulder. Um, well, what <laughs> Wayne the Boulder lives here. Um, I've just put this on the floor. This is just, you know what? The start of this episode is more chaotic than anything I have done so far today. <laughs> this is just insane. Right, um, well, I suppose now that I'm here and I've made this and it's on the floor, why don't I just grab a serving and I don't know, maybe talk to, um, Wayne the Boulder because we gotta be best friends with all of our tenants. We don't actually live here anymore. Just a side note, we live all the way over there. I thought I clicked over there, but anyways, we're here now. And my mission for this Let's Play is to be like bestest friendos with all of my tenants as possible. Also, can I just point out to you, do you see the way he has a tiger tattoo on his back? Literally the day that this pack got announced, I got my tiger tattoo and mine literally also has flowers and things like that. So thought that was pretty cool. I feel like a little bit of a spiritual connection with the Sims right here. So that's really cute. Anyways, can we actually become like bestest friendos? Because I find that it is a lot easier. Okay, affection, maybe not. Maybe let's just talk about random things. I found it a lot easier to be able to give out to your tenants um, if they're doing something bold. Oh, Wayne is unemployed. Okay. Do I like spirited sims? Sure. And also, Panya is asking to go to the flea market. And honestly, I think I'm going to say yeah. Because we need a little bit of social going on. If you've seen... Oh my god, there's a lot happening. I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're here. I'm excited to record this video. If you've seen my castle build video, I'm going to leave it linked for you down below. I have built a castle for us. Okay, I've built a very cool castle. It is in this world and I have built it for our sim to move into in the future. Um, there's also talks of dungeons being put in that castle so that we can rent out the dungeons. I don't know. Th there's just thoughts and ideas flowing around in my head. But I would like to move into the castle, obviously, by myself. But maybe also with Panya. Maybe Panya is going to be, you know, the guy we move in with and maybe have a, a potential child since the castle is big enough for like 100 people. But I would like us to be an item. Whether that's gonna be anytime soon i don't know wait is panya married i don't think so panya is unemployed because we did steal panya's job as we know that but i would like to be an item with panya but whether we want to do it now i don't know but i will try to take as many opportunities to hang out with panya as possible which is right now we are talking to him and we are becoming bestest friendos should i do a cheeky little flirt i feel like a cheeky little flirt will kind of set the scene so that he knows like look we're not playing you we're not just wasting your time my legs are so hairy oh my god what <laughs> what is with this? We're not just playing with you, Panya. We're not wasting your time. We're just taking things extremely slowly, like we do with anything in this Let's Play. It doesn't even have to be a love interest. Um, but I do want us to have, like, a, a pink thing underneath. Do you know, like, a love thing? Why can't I have a love thing with you, please? Uh, maybe exchange numbers. <laughs> Will that work? Like, as if I don't have his number already. Oh, he walked away. Great! <laughs> Great news! Okay, I would like to um, get you... Okay, he's he's gone to the toilet. That's very fair. Okay, why don't I come here? Is there anything I can swipe while I'm here? I feel like that is something I could potentially do. Maybe let's try swipe this couch. Okay. Oh my god, we're doing it. <laughs> we are on the job. We're on a date and also on the job. How ideal. Panya is doing uh, push-ups. Uh, perfect, I suppose. Panya, can you... Can I just ask you if you're single? Just to double check. But I feel like you should stay single. This is just my little personal opinion. Okay, he is single. Why can't we get like a love thing with him? What am I supposed to do? Like, what else do I... What else do I do? Affection? Confess attraction. Maybe I could tell him. Like, look, Panya, I think you're cute. There we go. Okay, that's literally all I wanted. That's all I need to do. I don't really need much else um yeah that's kind of all i want who the hell is pierce and why are we already like almost best friends my god panya if that isn't loud i don't know what is let's watch oh 
Oh, oh no, she's like, nah, Panya, <laughs> Panya, this is ridiculous, I'm walking away. <laughs> oh, I'd like to think, okay, get away, I'm not talking to you. I'd like to think that he's like singing for us, you know, he's like, um, you're so cute, and I like you, even though you stole my job, <laughs> I still like you. Okay, Panya, that's really cute. Oh, there's an event. Haggle with the vendor. No, thank you. I'm going to end this early. I'm very sorry, Panya, but I'm going to leave now. I mean, you can come with me if you want. I want to show you the castle, guys. I have built the castle in Henford and Bagley because there was a very cute slush. It's over here. Let me just go visit it for one second. I suppose Panya can come with us. This, I would like to think, this castle is going to be our end, end goal of this Let's Play. Obviously, we're still like miles away from this end goal because bear in mind, this is like a, I think it's worth like 400,000 small Molians, this castle. Uh, there's also a, a fox here. That's kind of cute. I mean, that's pretty ideal. That's so cute. Okay, so this is the castle. Um, why is it just open for anyone to go into? Wait, can I just go into this castle? Wait a second. Go here. Oh no, I can't go in. Wait, can I not go in here at all? Because like, why is the the castle open as if people live here, but also no one lives here? Wait, I can't. No, I can't go in. Can you go up here? I can. Knock on door. No one lives here. But the castle is like weirdly open. What if I just teleport here for one second and just use the toilet <laughs> there we go <laughs> just just use the toilet just just what just use please <laughs> okay i may have just broken into the castle um panya is having like best friend time over here wait cornelia pink wait i made this sim before what are you doing here in this world that's weird okay i mean you do you girl we have broken into the castle um i feel like i should steal stuff from it but then again we will be moving into this castle so probably not ideal for me to steal things okay why don't we just leave now okay that was very weird but as i said this will be the castle that we are hoping to move into sometime at the end of this let's play i think it will be very cute and then also i'm thinking of putting underground dungeons um so that we can rent it out to people to live in my underground dungeons because i think that that would be the best metaphor and representation of a landlord's financial state you know because landlords really get a lot of money in this world whether it's in the sims or in the real life let's just be clear and really real about this landlords get a lot of money for you know for practically not doing a lot i've had many experiences with landlords where you know the landlord did practically nothing for me they were really bad no i'm not saying that all landlords are bad but a lot of them are so i built this castle to represent that this is what we're going to become we are going to become that nasty landlord that lives in the beautiful castle while all of their tenants peasants are gonna live in the dungeons what do you think guys is this something we're gonna do there is a cute little black bunny rabbit oh <gasps> adorable i mean excuse me isn't that a sign there's a bunny rabbit over there um that's very cute. I love that. Okay, let's travel back home. I'm very excited about this Let's Play. I don't think you can tell. Well, maybe you probably can, but I am very excited. Let's go back to our own home though, because we haven't actually lived there a lot. Like, I think in the last episode, we just moved in. Don't actually remember what we did in the last episode. I probably should have done my research, but I think we just moved in and we became friends, yes, with that teenager that lives next door. Like, what's that about? The poor teenager. Oh, Look at the dog. Wait, I think this is actually... This is Dara's dog, I think. As far as I'm aware, I think so. Okay, anyways, this is our home. What do you think, guys? I think it's pretty cute. Melody's ringing. Um, oh my god, Melody wants to try for a baby. Uh, I mean, sure. Wait, Melody Melody is her grandmother, isn't it? Is Melody your grandmother? Wait a second, how do I look at the family tree? Because I'm actually getting pretty confused. Okay, so we started off with Michaela Owens. Then, yeah, okay, so, okay. So we started off with Michaela Owens. She married Greg. Then they had a child, Melody. Melody then married Luke. Lu then they had a child, Molly. And now Molly is after having Liana. I don't like the way I stopped doing the M's for their names. That's a bit weird. I kind of feel like changing her name. <laughs> All right. Well, I think, yes, we'll do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. Great. So I'm going to have... Wait, so if she has another baby, that means that my mom will have another sister, which means I will have an aunt. Is that the way it is? I don't, I don't really understand. But anyways, let's forget. 
forget about that for a minute. Right, it's 5.40 p.m. Um, We did have an issue in the previous episode with the amount of bills that my tenants have to pay. So I really hope that is all sorted. Let me just have a look there now. Um, Yeah, 123 simoleons. Wait, wait, why are they... Wait, what? Why do I have them... Why do I have four units here? Hmm... One second. This doesn't make any sense. How do I have four units? I shouldn't have four units. I should only have three. Yeah, so I live in unit number one, and then there's two, and then there's three. Dara lives in two, and the other family lives in three. Isn't that isn't that right? Why do I have two families? I feel like that's a bit of a glitch as well. <laughs> One second, how do I, can I travel to their unit and say hello to them? Because I don't even think I've met them properly yet. And as I said, we're going to try to be best friends with everyone. I'm going to keep that as a, a separate little challenge for ourselves. Kind of like The Sims 1, you know, when you get a job and one of your job requirements in The Sims 1 is to like make friends and it's like really stressful to make friends with everyone. Okay, so is it just 2v? No, that is so weird. Why is it? No, there's meant to be three Sims. It's saying that this unit is technically two units and those families are the same family they live in this one unit i'm so confused or does it think that this is unit number three? Oh god there's a fire oh fantastic okay well as a landlord i feel like i should try and help oh my god oh my god is she gonna die oh my god it's extinguish extinguish her quickly oh my god oh my god is she gonna die Tenant for all violation. No trash overload. Okay, um, that's okay. One second there now. Can we just extinguish this? This is not going well for us. Sentiment gained. I'm still alive. That was close. I owe you big time. Okay. Well, you do owe me. You owe me money because I am your landlord. So that is essentially what you owe me. You owe me money once a month. Uh, quick question. Um, yeah, sure. Right. Um, that's fine. There was a rule violation. Um, I presume it's just because of the fire. I would like to think that wasn't a rule violation. Or else maybe it's Dara next door, but it's okay. I, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be too picky about that. It's okay. You almost just died in a fire. I will let you off. I feel like it it thinks that this is a separate household. I think that's what's going on here. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna become best friends with Nancy, Julie, and Anthony. Oh my god, my brother. Wait, is that my brother? No, that's not my brother. That's my uncle, I think. My uncle wants to come over to hang out. I mean, feel free, but I am quite busy at the moment, so it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> a lot is happening, but that's okay. Right, I'm gonna go in here and maybe just introduce myself to the one. Wait, what? What did I ask her to do? As, a wonder as wonderful as that sounds, I'm not in a position where I feel comfortable doing that at the moment. I am so confused as to what's going on. Can I knock on the door and go into this household? This is so confusing. Right, you. You almost died. Howdy introduction. How are you feeling? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm I'm great. I just almost died, but I'm good. You know, what can I say? Okay, I'm gonna try and share adrenaline seeker tips. You know, the fact that you were on fire, that's pretty cool. And I love that for you. So that's, you know, that's unreal. Offer listening ear. Okay, she's going for a shower. That's very fair. You should probably go for a shower. Ask Judace, is she pregnant? Or is that just something rude that you say because we have a mischief skill oh no i don't think she's pregnant i think that is just because we have a mischief skill that's um very high and we like to be mean <laughs> god okay let's not be mean to our to our tenants we have to be best friends dare to streak i mean you can do whatever you want in your house but maybe wait for me to go home first can i have one of these please because i feel like now that i'm here i might as well just feed myself did my uncle come over uh, I'm not sure actually. Did you? You didn't even shower yet. Girl, you, you got a shower. Oh, my uncle is here. Okay, he is coming over. Is he even my uncle? Can I just, can I just double check that I'm not calling him something that he's not? Yeah, he, he would be my uncle. He doesn't show up on my family tree though. Who's this? Oh yes, that's her brother. So he would be her brother. So my mom's brother is my uncle. I need to age some of these people up because they all seem to live and like outlive, which is kind of cute though. I kind of like them all being alive and no one's aging, um, but it is a lot. It's a lot to think about. Compliment house. Your house is so pretty. I built it so I would know. <laughs> okay, she's tense. Um, I can imagine you would be probably very, very tense right now. So why don't I tell you a joke about ducks? That might put you in a better mood. 
No? It didn't. <laughs> That's okay. Oh no, it did! Oh my god, it actually made her happy. My joke about ducks has made her happy and I actually love that. Let's hug. Let's hug it out. Look, we are gonna be best friends now that I've saved you from a fire. We are going to be BFFs. I'm gonna give them all repair tips because, you know, that's just what they need. Maybe while I'm here, actually, should I do inspection and maintenance just to make sure that everything is kind of working well? Also, bear in mind, it's 12 o'clock at night and I'm still at this family home. <laughs> Making sure that things are right. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my house. How do I go back to my own lot? Go home. Also, bear in mind, Panya was here, but I think he disappeared somewhere. He realized, oh, this is not something I want to do right now. Let me go home. My God, isn't this just the most chaotic thing ever? Yes, always. <laughs> Right, I'm back home. I'm gonna go straight into bed and let's get through this night and see what the day brings for us tomorrow. Oh, it's work time. Okay, I'm gonna work from home as per usual. Complain about condition. To who? Um, Complain about a worn object at home or in a shared area and complain about condition to a nearby sim. Okay, Um, I think the game gets a little bit confused when you are a landlord and not a tenant because I technically haven't played this yet being a tenant. If you get me um so i think it gets a little struggly and a little bit confused with the concept of the fact that like i can't complain to anyone because i am the landlord <laughs> so hopefully i'm not just understanding that wrong but why would i complain to someone other taxes 1406 oh, okay that's fairly expensive also why am i bored tea deprived okay i'm i'm nosy can i have a look at our bills and why they're so high. Um, let's see. Show bills information. Other taxes. 1,404. Oh my god. We pay a lot of taxes. Is it for this lot? My god. I don't think being a landlord is very, like, good for us when it comes to the finance side of things. No trash overload to Cam. Okay, who's Cam? One sec. Oh, Cam. One rule broken. Okay, we should probably go visit the Cam household. Because they seem to have... A lot of trash so let's go visit them and hopefully they'll have breakfast for us ready <laughs> that's one way to keep yourself fed just keep visiting random homes that you own and they will hopefully feed you okay hi there um dara i believe is your name can i knock on the door please knock on door please let me in okay thank you very much the dog lives here that's totally fine now tell me where is this trash overload because i don't actually see any trash in this home um it doesn't seem like there is any trash i feel bad though because i do feel like i have to ask you know for the fine so i am gonna ask to for you to pay the fine we are like best friends so hopefully you'll pay it did you pay it oh wait did you she didn't i don't think she paid it rude um that's very rude excuse me pay the bloody fine Okay, I'm gonna post the fine on the on the board thing. Well, in the in the mailbox. You've got to pay it, girl. This is not fair. Even though I know that there is actually no rubbish anywhere, so that's definitely. Oh yeah, there we go. She paid. I think the boulder is ringing. Hey, Liana, I have a, cl a crush, a crush, a crush on Gem. Do you think she's worth a try? Yeah, go for it. But also, why do you have such big eye bags? Oh my god, are you okay? Are you sleeping well? Is the apartment treating you bad? I mean, all that mold. I know it's a lot. Okay, she just paid me. I feel like she just paid me twice also. Did you see that? Or was that just me? I feel like she paid me twice. I'm gonna have to go back in the video to check. But I feel like she paid me twice. Okay, I feel very bad now. So I am gonna <laughs> try and rekindle her friendship because... She actually has no trash in her home. Um, There is no trash anywhere. The dog is fighting the, the mail carrier. And we should probably pay the bills, realistically. Even though they're so expensive. I don't get it. Get mail. Is there anything we can get? Did we get anything in the mail? What is this? Bills. I already paid the bills. Why are the bills in my inventory? Discard. <laughs> Discard the bills, please. I don't need them. There we go. She just threw them away. Thank God. Okay, at least we're best friends again. Can I just do a little bit of maintenance in your house? Um, Let me just do inspection and maintenance on the cooker. Even though she probably needs to use the cooker in a minute. But look, I need to make sure that everything is running smoothly and you're not setting any fires here. Is this the one bedroom apartment? Oh yeah, this is like the one bedroom slash one creative room apartment. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to do inspection and maintenance on this as well. She didn't make me any breakfast, which is a little bit rude. My mom's calling. Um, Do you want to chat? Yeah, sure. I am working at the moment, but I can chat afterwards. 
<laughs> if you're still available. Right. So far, so good. Nothing bad is happening besides that crazy fire. That was a bit much. We do need to continue making our money. And honestly, oh, Sienna has spread some juicy gossip about Molly. Cute. That's exactly what we needed because we were tea deprived. So we have a nice bit of gossip. Right. I think I might plant um, a tomato here. I think we need to, yes, we need to level up our gardening skill and our handiness skill. So that is something I am going to do. I am just going to plant some of these things. Maybe not the plantains. Wait, do I not have things in my inventory that I could plant? I think I do. Um, I think I'll have to go back to my house though. Okay, let's go back to our own lot. God, the loading screens are actually a lot. They're very annoying. The fact that you have to like go through each loading screen to go to each house even though they're like on such a tiny lot that is that is that is a lot right i think in my household inventory i should have something let me see uh yes there we go okay we have carrot plants so let's just put them out i mean i don't really mind what i'm planting it really doesn't make any difference to me because all i need is just to to get the gardening skill up that's all we need realistically so it doesn't matter what i'm doing i also have 16 tomatoes jesus christ that's a lot can i like put them into my fridge or do i have to put them down and pick them up individually I think I have to put them down individually. Oh my god. That is a lot. But I think it would be very good for us to just pick all of these up. And actually put them into our fridge. Because that way then we'll save money on our food. This is a very annoying way of doing it. Is there any other way I could do this? Or do I just have to put a row of tomatoes on the floor? <laughs> This does not feel right. There's also 20 carrots. Oh my god. Okay, give me one second while I put all these carrots out. Guys, this is actually taking me so long to put all these tomatoes and all these carrots back into her inventory. Like, you've no idea. Oh, Michaela's ringing me. Okay. Uh, can I get her to plant these without planting the rest of them? Because I don't want all these planted on the floor. Please don't do this to me. This will be a lot better for us to have all those vegetables stored in our fridge. You pay less, you know, for food. And we are trying to be frugal here because we are trying to build a... Or not build. We're trying to move into a castle at the end of this let's play. So I don't know how that's going to happen. Hopefully Panya has some good earned cash behind him as well when he moves in with us. That will be a nice little bump up. Okay, I'm almost there. Last few green peas. My eyes are like going square from this. My God. Okay, there we go. Everything is sorted. Now I do need to complain about condition to someone. But I also need to level up my gardening skill. It's very annoying that it is raining right now because that could be something we could do um, to get our skill up. Okay, she's going back into the house. That's not ideal. Should I should I call over to this family again? I feel like I will. Let's visit this unit. So that way then I can keep becoming friends with them and hopefully then do that weird task that I have to do for work. Like how am I supposed to complain to them? I actually hate when it thunders in the game because it's so loud. Oh my god, I might turn down the sound of the game a little bit. Um, okay, knock on the door. Hi there. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Okay, how do I... What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to like complain about condition. Okay, let's see. Complain about local youths. Panya, oh my god. Do you want to go on a date? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, oh, that's so mean because I want to stay here, but I don't want to say no thanks just in case he gets offended. So, oh God, I suppose I'm going to have to go. Ugh. I suppose maybe while we're on the date, I can steal some stuff. That could be quite good for us. Um, God damn it. Hopefully I'll be able to complain to him about the, the conditions or whatever I need to do. <laughs> right. Okay. Hi, Panya. Can I just do this thing where... Complain about condition. Okay, let's see. Friendly. Or maybe... One sec there now. Complaints. Complain about problems. Complain about wind. Hmm. Ask to have science, baby. No. We won't be doing that. Um, trade marbles. <laughs> Interest. Small talk. Hmm. I really don't know how to complain about condition. At home, find a worn object at home or in a shared area and complain about condition to a nearby sim. See, I don't have any worn objects. That's so annoying. Okay, anyway, why don't I go in here and try steal the grand piano? I feel like that could be an ideal thing to do for us. There seems to be no one in this room. Um, Let me just give it a quick little swipe, maybe? Oh, I did it. Wow. Okay, well, that was that was pretty easy. What about those couches? I mean, we don't need that many couches in this room, realistically. Let's just steal one of these and maybe another one. 
The room won't really make much difference when I steal a couple of couches. Um, let's make sure that there's no one else in this room. And let's get this statue as well. There is two computers here at the reception area. Would I dare to swipe them? <gasps> I would. I would dare. <gasps> I'm doing it. Oh my god, there's no one that's stopping me. Like, there's no CCTV footage or anything here. You know, I'm just casually swiping while Panya is chilling in the pool with someone. That's okay, Panya. You do whatever you want, my dear. You hang out with whoever you want. I feel like... Wait, is that her grandmother? Why is her grandmother here? Oh god, you're gonna catch us stealing. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing well. A deep personal conversation. Can I complain to you? Maybe? Is that something I can do? Come best friends, small talk. Um, no, I cannot complain. Damn it, that's so annoying. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to go talk to Panya for at least a minute because he did invite me on this date. So let's just go talk to him for like two minutes. Uh, where did you get that plate of food? That would be handy actually if I could just get some food from anyone. Okay, come over here and talk to Panya. Why are you talking to everyone else but Panya? You are here on a date with Panya. And now my mother is calling. Oh my god, sure. You know, I, I need to start saying no to people. Also, it's snowing and we are in the pool. Who, who thought of this idea to bring me snowing in the pool while my legs are not shaved? That's just perfect. Perfect. Delightful. Oh, we're making a move. Ah, look at us. That's pretty cute. Okay. Uh, I think the date should be over now because I have no time. Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye. Um, don't call me ever. <gasps> oh, I thought I could just end a date without any consequences. I didn't expect there to be consequences. <gasps> okay. Um, not good. <laughs> Not ideal. Okay, let's go back to this family and try and complain about stuff to them because I need to get my work tasks done. I didn't even get my handiness skill up or anything. Oh my god. See, this is why we can't have relationships early on in this game because I have no time to be spending about Panya complaining that I didn't spend enough time with him, you know? It's just not something I need to do. Let's knock on the door. I feel like this apartment is definitely too small for her. <laughs> For this, like, a three-person family. Like, where do they even sleep? You know? Do they all sleep in the same bed? Probably. Okay, can I complain to you? Complaints. Complain about thunderstorms, local youths. God damn it. There is nothing that's broken. No, like, things are needing handiness, if you get me. What am I supposed to do? Should I break something? Let me just keep washing my hands maybe a hundred times. Maybe the sink will break. Okay, wash your hands. Keep washing, please. Please break the sink. I need something to complain about. Mm, no, nothing seems to be working. Um, she is making food though, so that's good. I will stay for the food. Um, okay. Can I maybe complain to you about something? Wait, what if I go into rental? No. Friendly complaints. No. That's very annoying. I don't know how I'm gonna... Oh! Oh! Oh, it looks like something has sorted out all the power. Oh, sorry. Sorted out all the power and the electricity in this unit. Time to sort out the problem. Okay, unreal. I will sort out the problem. But also, can we just talk about the fact that there is a problem? <laughs> One second. This would be perfect if I could just complain. Complain about problems. No. Complain about condition. To a nearby sim. Okay. One second. You, child. Can I complain to you? Uh, friendly small talk seriously how am i supposed to complain go here i'll fix it in two minutes please don't worry i just need to complain first um friendly potty humor silly behavior no complaints i literally can't seem to find this can i just complain about problems do you think that would work whoa the whole thing is like flashing like all the lights that are working are flashing that's actually so cool um compliment house okay i'm very miserable so can i just go at least to the toilet before i go any further with this please please go to the toilet you are literally going to wee yourself oh my god oh my god this is not this is not well why can't i go to the toilet Okay, um, should I just go and repair? Because clearly I can't talk to anyone about this this issue that we're having. Are you about dirty surroundings? No, I just want to complain. Find a worn object at home or a shared area and complain about condition to a nearby sim. Doesn't seem to be working, if you ask me. Okay, I'm just gonna go repair this because honestly, I can't be dealing with this. Okay. What's happening now? Did someone die? No. He's having he's having a rose petal bath as there is no power in the house. My god. Well, isn't he just a petal himself? Complain about problems. 
They're all desperately trying to like mop the floor. Why is the floor getting wet though? That's my question. Confront about secret. Mm, okay, she really badly needs to go to the toilet. So that should be something I should be able to do. Go to the toilet. My god. It's 2 a.m. And I still can't figure this stupid stuff out. Also, why are you mapping outside? It's a thunderstorm. Oh, is it fixed? Okay, why are there lights broken then? Complain about condition too. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. Okay, I found it. Okay, that wasn't very, um, it wasn't very easy to do. Okay, am I complaining? Or what am I doing? Did I complain? Complain about condition to the child. Okay, come on. Come on. Look. Oh my god, that is so annoying. Yes, there we go. Okay, finally, 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 finally. Okay, I'm gonna repair their fridge for them. I don't understand why the house still has no power. Uh, that shouldn't really be the case. They should have power by now. Maybe the lights are just off. Electrical outage, but the outage has been fixed. Fully operational fuse box. What's that about? Uh, you should probably put the rubbish into the bin. Wait, did I not give them a bin? Oh, oh that's, that's very bad on my part. I didn't give this household a bin. Um, was tenant household was pleased with your prompt response? Oh, yes, unit went up. Fabulous. I am after passing out in their kitchen, though. That's not good. But I am happy that they're happy, and that is kind of the main thing. Right, wake up. Um, maybe I should just go home and go to bed, but their fridge is still broken, so I would like to fix that as, as soon as I can. Wait, wait, they can still use the fridge? So is it broken or is it not broken? Repair. Oh, and I'm gone back to work. Okay. Right. Okay. It's another work day. I haven't slept at all. Um, it's been a tough night for landlord Liana. Um, so I am hoping that Oh my god, I got electrocuted. Right. <laughs> I think I might have to go back to my own home for just one second because clearly I need to go home. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this utterly chaotic and messy episode of A Life of a Landlord where we definitely struggled. But that is what keeps me just so thrilled by this Let's Play. <laughs> Anyways, if you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to let me know down in the comments as per usual. And if you are stumbling upon this channel and you are new here, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed at least... 1% of this video, please do consider subscribing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!